Charger, Slicer, Nuker, Belt, Warhammer, 40k, Rogue Trader, Guide. This would be a classic, nimble, dodgy, melee assassin. The main point of the entire build is huge movement, basically dancing around enemies, hitting for those weak spots with huge crits, and you can only play this build as dogmatic, only as Imperialis, because everything revolves around Imperialis here. So you need to play for humanity if you want to play this build during campaign. Let's not waste time and let's go. Are you ready for more humor for the KO trainer? Because I am. The Emperor protects. So, we're opening up with Warrior. Charge for free, then we're gonna get Athletics, then we're gonna get Endure, then we're gonna get Ulti Daring Breach, one of the best Ultis in the game, and the first talent that we're gonna learn would be Rigorous Training. Extremely important for our Charger build. After that, we're gonna take Ramming Speed and Weapon Skill. Then, we're gonna learn ability called Sworn Enemy for extra damage towards four enemies. We're gonna take Athletics, after that we're taking Agility into Nimble, so we're scaling up with Dodge. After that we're taking Carouse into Talent called Impet. Again, we're buffing up charges. After that we're taking Daring Breach, Ulti upgrade number 4, Flat Damage. After that, we're taking Opening Strike Talent into Agility. And the final ability that we're gonna learn would be the Breakthrough, where we're gonna get Slash. Okay, multiple usages of free Slash. More damage, in other words. Then we're gonna take Dueling Mastery to get the extra parry. Then we're gonna take Weapon Skill into Carouse. And on the next level, we're taking Blade Flurry. Again, we are raising up Slash damage with Blade Flurry. After that we're taking Awareness and Strength and the final talent, common talent, it's gonna be It Will Not Die and we're rounding up Warrior with Ulti Upgrade number 1 for the Daring Breach. After this our Warrior becomes an Assassin and we get to see the opening for free and the very first thing that we're gonna learn from the abilities would be that Whisper. After that Whisper, we take Carmine Whisper and upgrade that Whisper damage. After that, we're gonna go with Dispatch, ulti for free, and then huge power spike increase with action points into agility for dodge. Then we're gonna take Professional Acumen talent for the Assassin. Then we're taking agility again for the dodge. Then we're gonna take Athletics, and now we're taking the final dodge towards Elusive Shadow ability. I'll explain the full combo later on, of course. On the next level, we're taking the upgrade for Elusive Shadow, which is called Elusive Speed Talent. After that, we're taking Weapon Skill into Persistence of the Forge Talent. Very important one for this build. After that, on the next level, we're getting the perfect opening talent, and then we're gonna take Weapon Skill into Athletics. And now, Ulti Upgrade for this patch, we're gonna pick Ulti Upgrade number two. We want damage. After that, we're going with a talent called Killing Plan, and then we're taking the talent called An Eye for the Unskated. We are ramming up damage and dodge, damage and dodge, that's what we do non-stop, okay? After that, we're going into Perception, then into Awareness, and the final ability that we're gonna learn would be Dance Macabre. And now we got a Charger, Slicer, Slasher, Nuker, Dancer, Assassin, Nimble, Assassin with multiple attacks. After that, we're taking the escape plan talent and we're gonna take morbid pirouette talent and upgrade 
dance macabre with morbid pirouettes. On a next level we're taking awareness, into inevitable enervation talent, into strength, and we finish up with a last plan, or better to say, we finish up with extra life so we don't die. And for the final ulti upgrade in Assassin Arch type, we're gonna take this patch upgrade number one to reduce enemy's armor and deflection. After Assassin, we become an exemplar. And no brain, we're gonna take perfection under fire first because it's just way too freaking good. And for the next talent, we're gonna take thick skin for extra petty. After this, we're taking Athletics into Lone Killer Talent. On the next level, we're taking Agility into Combat Master. For the next level, we're gonna learn Reckless Strike, so we can one-shot enemies. Then, we're gonna take Athletics. On the next level, we take Critical Velocity, for increased critical hit chance and critical hit damage. After that, we're taking Bringer of Doom, for even more damage. On the next level, we're taking Agility for Dodge, and we're taking the upgrade for the Reckless Strike, called Reckless Fury, which gonna increase our critical hit chance even further. After that, we're taking the ability called Killing Edge from the Assassin, or better to say, even more Burst. On the same level, we're taking a bit of toughness, and for the next level, we're gonna take a talent called Imminent Demise. With a talent, common talent, called Dual Weapon Combat, so we can hit with both weapon sets during a round. On the next level, we're taking Awareness into a tricky defense exemplar talent, where we're gonna increase our dodge even further. And now comes the, the action point, Power Spike Increase, where we get 6 action points in total to play with. Then on the next level, we're gonna take Desolation for even more damage on the Assassin. Now we're gonna take Awareness, into open engagement talent, into more awareness, and then we're gonna take killing spree into perception. Eager for battle later on for the exemplar talent is extremely good on this arch type. And basically any other talent that's gonna provide you with dodge, agility, weapon skill, damage, lethality, that's the one you wanna use. Now, this would be the Charger, Sli Slicer, Slasher, Nuker, Warrior, Assassin. Let's check the itemization. So, itemization for our Slasher, the most important, would be the Righteous Justice. This is the sword that you need, that's very easy to grab during Act 2. In the meantime, in the other weapon set, you want Auto striking power sword for increased parry. You see how huge the parry is. This is what you want in your second slot. Any weapon that's gonna provide you with the biggest amount of damage and biggest amount of armor penetration, but with the benefit of parry, is the weapon that you want to equip until you find the weapons I'm showing you right here. In the second hand, best one to have would be the Foe Hammer, because you can knock enemies prone, no matter what chapter it is, you can always knock them prone from afar, and you cannot reach. Great, it works great as an execution weapon as well, when enemies are left on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 HP, then you just blast them with Foe Hammer, you cannot miss good executioner's weapon. Now, what about the other gear? For the helmet, we want tactical genius. For armor, we always, always want to remain in light armor during the entire campaign. The armor that provides you with agility and with dodge is the armor that you want to grab. This is the best armor, loyalist garb, that you can equip on the assassin. For trinkets, we put both knuckle guards. So, it's exactly the same items that's gonna raise our damage drastically. And for the amulet, we're gonna go with a conversion field with complete invulnerability from critical hits. So, we cannot get one shot at four gloves. Of course, we're raising up weapon skill and we're raising up strength, or better to say, we're raising up damage. And for the cape, we're raising dodge with cameline cloak. And for the boots, charger, slicer, nuker build can go with charge boots. Now, there are other boots that you can use as well. At least three to four great boots in a game, but I find pneumo boots 
absolutely the best on the assassin basically boosts that give you dodge mobility or any boost that enhance your abilities and you know what abilities we play with as an assassin those are the boosts that you want to have but this pneuma boots they're the best option how do we play charger slicer dasher dancer warrior assassin at the start, when you're a warrior, you wanna work endure, you wanna remain behind, make a sworn enemy out of someone and pick your targets smart with a charge. When is the time to go in? The time to go in into enemies to use breakthrough is after the charge. But you gotta have one thing in mind. Be patient for a round or two. Your allies should build up momentum. Once you have momentum, you're gonna charge in, you're gonna whack a few enemies, and then you're gonna use Daring Breach and burst everyone around you, because movement points are absolutely crazy, damage is also crazy, and this is your main damage output right now in the game. But you need to have ulti as a warrior. Later on, you can get in as an assassin. Now, speaking about assassin, aim for the opening is always the opener. And then you want to charge from the furthest distance available. If you can charge from 8 cells away and accumulate charge damage, you want to do it. Okay, the further you are from the enemy with this charger build, the more charge will hurt. So you aim for the opening and then you charge into enemy. Okay, and then you can use Dance Macabre, switch to the other side and whack them again in their weak spots with that Whisper. Basically, if enemy is in the middle, you're dancing around the enemy and hitting those openings non-stop, or better to say, you deal tremendous amount of damage with the build. When to use this patch? Only and only on huge mega buses and only when they're below 50% of wounds. You don't use it any other way. How do we use Surefire Plan? When you wanna kill. But Surefire Plan goes together with a Reckless Strike and then you charge into aim for the opening. So the main combo where you should one shot through your charge, eight cells away, okay, the further you are the better, you go with a surefire plan, you go with a reckless strike, you aim for the opening, you charge, you hit the enemy, then you hit them with a basic attack, then you pass through them with Dance Macabre, you hit them with a Death Whisper, and then you end your turn with Elusive Shadow, so you get even more dodge and no one can hurt you. That's the full pump for the build. A bit complicated to learn, but as you get, you know, ability by ability, as you level up, you're gonna learn in time. Okay, right now when I speak like this, it sounds complicated, but it basically not. The only thing that you gotta have in mind is what pre-buffs you cast, how you aim for the enemy's charge, move behind them, wacky lose you. Okay, use all action points at your disposal. It is very fun to play with this build. It hurts like crazy, but it's also very squishy. You don't go in first, you go in the last. You are there to clear enemies, okay? You're not there to open up fights with this build. In round one, you're buffing up. You're preparing for the full outburst during round two. Never go in during round one, ever. You're gonna die. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Are you ready for Warhammer 40k trailer? Because I am. The Emperor protects.